I am in Abingdon near Oxford at Oxford Bike Works where um, I've popped in to see Richard. I usually do this about once a year. Um, last year it was to upgrade my expedition bike, uh, which I wrote about quite a bit on the blog. This year I'm picking up something completely different. Well, it's still a bicycle, but it's, uh, it's a very different type of bike. Um, and I have a particular um, ride in mind for, for this one. So, Richard, would you like to introduce this bike that we're looking yes. at? So this is this is the Oxford Bike Works Outlander. It's for off-road, it's for tra single track, it's for Jeep tracks, it's for the type of terrain that you're probably not going to want to take your gravel bike on. And there's no reason why this shouldn't become a touring bike either, you know, with, with Schwab Marathon Pluses on it and, um, and uh, pannier racks and all sorts. So it's every bike you could ever want it to be. <laughs> In this particular guise, it's a it's a 650B wheel size with uh, hydraulic disc brakes, a Dior rear derailleur, SLX shifter, um, a massive 11 to 46 tooth uh, cassette, and um, a 38 tooth uh, chainring at the front. We've also we've put um, Continental Race King tyres on it, two inch wide for uh, for Tom Allen and his Ascend Armenia race uh, in. Is it August? End of August. End of August. And uh, the idea of this bike is to build something simple, strong, light and reasonably fast. It's going to have its ultimate test, I think, really. Uh, I'd be very interested to see how you get on with it in that, in, in that context. People come to me and they tell me what they're going to do with their bike and we then devise it from the ground up. So in this case, this bike is, is, um, is with Armenian off-road terrain in mind and uh, it's been specced exactly that way. These bikes aren't built until we've had the conversation um, and that, that, enables, um, th that enables things to be exactly right. Some of the key components that, that we've stuck with uh, a fillet braised hand-built frame uh, made by Lee Cooper in Coventry, uh, hand-built wheels built by me. Um, the other thing we've really worked on is getting all the, the brazons right. Um, and although there aren't um, cargo mounts on the forks on this example, that's part of the offering. And uh, a customer that wants that, all they have to do is, is mention it and, uh, and they're added. Despite the fact that they're completely hand-built from the ground up, £2,200 gets you a really well Dior-equipped top quality bike that's going to properly fit you and last years and years and years. Cool, thank you. I'm looking forward to riding it. Cool. So there we go. Uh, got my brand new Oxford Bike Works Outlander. Um, now just to get it to Armenia, so I can uh, try and ride 1,100 kilometres in eight days flat with all my gear strapped to it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what this new bike has to offer um, when I get it out on the trails.